Mr Speaker, it is indeed uh, my pleasure and very appreciative of the fact that I can stand here and really support um, the Prime Minister Widimu Ingarihi or the Right Honourable Bill English, his statement, sir. And in that statement, sir, is indeed an incredible uh, overview, a plan uh, for 217. Sir, what that is, it's actually about providing huge opportunity for all New Zealanders. But my theme today, sir, is that within that statement is that the Prime Minister also is delivering, and I'm confirming, sir, that he is delivering also for Māori. And what I want to do, sir, is first of all just uh, go through a few milestones from over the last sort of 80 years on how the National Party has actually delivered to Māori. If we go back, sir, right back into uh, 1936, sir, let's go back to Apiranga Nata, who was actually one of the first Māori MPs for the National Government then. And what he did, sir, he introduced, first of all, uh, the beginnings of Māori land development. And then, sir, if you move to 1935, who set up the Māori Battalion under National? It was Nata. If we go, sir, through to the 1950s, sir, the building process for the Ratana Pa was actually done under National. If we go, sir, then and move through to 1951, the Maori Women's Welfare League, sir, was set up under National. If we go, sir, to 1962, New Zealand Māori Council, the, the Māori Wardens, all set up, sir, under National. Sir, if we go through to then 1981. 1981 was the first wānanga of Aotearoa. Sir, that was from Rokawa. If we go through, sir, to the next one, the Māori Women's Development Fund was set up under National. If we keep going, sir, the Sea Lords Fishery Deal, that was set up under National. If we go to the treaty process, again under National. If we keep going through, sir, the Māori health provider, the first Hauora Māori health provider was actually done under when he was Minister of Health under our present Prime Minister. Sir, if we go through then to the next part is the Māori Teachers Initiative. That was first set up under National. Māori Television, if we look at the Te Reo Māori Initiatives, so, and even looking at Kura Kopapa Māori, which was actually put into law to protect it, all of those incredible milestones, sir, were under national. So let's have a look at the statement that is actually here today, sir. And under that, sir, what we've done under this government is te piro o te reo Māori, te pire. And then the next one, the treaty settlements process, as the Prime Minister said, 56 settlements, sir, have been done already in the last eight years, 41 enacted. Labor did, sir, Labor did 16 in nine years. So this particular government, sir, particularly over the last uh, eight years, has actually been incredibly excellent for Māori. Finally, sir, okay, listen to this one. Sir, finally, let's just listen to this one. From, this is from the media, quote for the Prime Minister. This is from the media. Ask any Māori at the coalface of change and they know that this PM cares deeply about how policy affects families. Quote, this is from Fairfax, English has done more to understand Māori than any other finance minister or prime minister. Mr Speaker, National in 2017 has a plan to continue to deliver opportunities to all New Zealanders and especially Māori. So you can, over that other side of the house, to you the glass is always half empty. To us, it's half full. It's full, and it'll be completely full by the time we get there in September. Mr Speaker, there is no hesitation here, but this plan, sir, that has, in this Prime Minister's statement, that has been actually put to the house for the 217, sir, that will see true progress for Māori. Kia ora tato katoa. Kia ora.